Oh, it has been a bit, everyone. And wouldn't you know it, during our time off, magic history was made. Over the weekend, Grand Prix Sydney took place with the Team Unified Modern format. After 14 rounds of Swiss, the top four teams had a good variety of decks between them. The winning team consisted of Lachlan Saunders on Mono Green Tron, Ryan Lewis Johns on Humans, and Jessica Estefan, the first woman to ever win a Magic Grand Prix on Black Red Hollow One. Players were frantically hitting their browser refresh buttons on Monday, waiting for the updates to the banned and restricted announcement. And it was all for naught. No changes were made to any formats that were presided over by Wizards R&D. However, there were several changes over on the Magic Online blog, which updated the 1v1 Commander ban list. Eight cards were added to the ban list, including Sylvan and Worldly Tutors, several fast mana cards like Chrome Mox, Ancient Tomb, and Mox Diamond, along with Edgar Markov, whose Eminence ability allows decks to power out tokens in a very quick fashion. Along with the bans, Protean Hulk, Mishra's Workshop, Bazaar of Baghdad, and Gristlebrand were all unbanned, because those are fair magic cards. Updates to the Paper Commander ban list will be revealed on Monday, according to Sheldon Menery on Twitter. Finally, English language cards are going to feel a bit different in the future. In a statement on the Wizards Company page, Senior Vice President of Finance and Operations Tim O'Hara talks about a change to the coding that covers English cards, taking some cues from the Japanese language printing press. There will also be more transparency from the company in their processes for making their physical pieces for all of their games, which will come in the form of articles by Tom Wanderstrand. That's our show for today, April 18th. Make sure to like and subscribe to our channel to keep up with all the latest magic news and strategy. I'm Jeremy Knoll, and this has been Split Second.